Welcome, Welcome to, to Winterfest! Hey. Hey. Hi, welcome to the eighth day of the 12 Days of Winterfest. My name is Susan Palmer, and today we'll have a double feature. We'll be speaking with Kathleen Staria and her beautiful quilt, Autumn Blessings, and Mary K. Moraski and her quilt, So Crazy. Let's welcome another Kama Beach quilter, Kathleen Staria. Thanks for visiting with me today, Kathleen. Thank you. Tell me, how did you find your quilt life? Well, I started out kind of young. I was about six years old when we got a regular sewing machine, <laughs> a powered sewing machine. You didn't have to pedal your feet. So I started sewing rag uh, pieces together for rag rugs. My mother sent out and had the ropes, the, the, the whatever it is, the, okay. and they make rag rugs for the floors. So that's how I started sewing. And then I did a lot of stuff for 4-H. I, and back in Minnesota, I, I did mostly clothing then, but some household things, you know, like embroidering and towels and stuff. Then when I came to, uh, we retired from the big island of Hawaii, uh, we moved to Camino Island. Right away found Pam Fredrickson and the Cama Beach Quilters. So I joined them. And then I joined CIQ, the Camino Island Quilters. So now I've been making quilts. I love making quilts. You so, are an amazing quilt maker, for sure. I also do a lot of the Cama Beach wall hangings, mostly. Um, and so I have a couple of those to show, if you want to see them. Please. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. And this... The, uh, the cabin was actually done by Pam Nielsen. Okay, and the same way with this, the Pam Nielsen did the center. Nice. And I, and I did a matching fabric on the back. Beautiful, perfect little wall hangings. So those would be available at, at Cama Beach too, correct? Right, so Th those, are all, those are for, also for sale, yes. So if anybody wanted them, they can just contact the park, and make an appointment to... Uh, Pick them up. Do you like to pet fabric? It sounds like. Oh, I am a. I like fabric, and I love the feel and the colors. And at first, when I first started quilting, I was so scared of what to put together. I had no idea what I was doing. After a while, the colors just come. You know immediately what goes with what, and and it works. It all works out. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, do you have any favorite teachers? That I, like Krista Mojou and I like I did one of her quilts and it was way too big for where I wanted to hang it and so I cut it in half my sister got half and I got half oh that's nice yeah. I quilted my half and then Christy Moser quilted the other half that went to my sister I just I wanted to see what she did with it really pretty all right well let's get to your quilt and this is one of my favorite quilts Autumn Blessings can you tell me how you created this quilt? Well, I found this free pattern in some magazine and it said easy. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought, well, okay. But I've, uh, this is a form of Jacob's Ladder and I've also done other Jacob's Ladder. It's a lot of piecing. They really come out pretty when they're done. And this one was all autumn colors and the back I used two prints. I had to cut the, the brown in half and put it on the side and then the middle print the way it was. But it turned out really nice. Back almost as good as the front. Yeah, I think they call this cheater fabric. I like, right. to, call, I like to call it convenience cloth. Quilt number 542, Autumn Blessings by Kathleen Staria. So you came from Hawaii, the Big Island. Tell me the story of your life on the Big Island. Oh, well, uh, my husband and I, um, I moved there and then we got married. Uh, but we got married in Minnesota. We had a Hawaiian wedding in Minnesota because all the relatives were there. So <laughs> we built our own home there from scratch. We did everything. We flew to Honolulu and we'd work and then we'd load up materials that were left over from jobs or 
And we just incorporated all that into our home. I was there for 15 years. Then when we were thinking about retiring, we were doing work for other people. They kept calling us and they called us even more after we said we were retiring. <laughs> so we finally just said, well, we're going to just pick up and leave. So that's, that's how we got to Camino Island. And we just found Camino Island on the uh, internet when we were looking at for houses. Uh-huh. And that we, we never heard of it before that, but we landed in the right spot. Yes, uh, you did. We really enjoy it here. I have to give you some kudos because I feel like you're Pam's right hand person and you're up to the, all of the tasks that Cama Beach quilters need, especially when it comes to putting the quilt show together. I've done this so many years now that you are able to just direct everybody and we can get that show up and going. Within. In one hour, we can get it up. 50, 50 to 60 quilts. It's yes. amazing. And it's all thanks to you with all your hard work. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else that you'd like to add? Well, I hope I'm going to be able to sew a lot more years here. <laughs> I'm sure you will. And I look forward to seeing every one of your quilts. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye now. I'd like to welcome Mary Kay Moraski. Hi, Mary Kay. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you very much, Susan. Good. So tell me, how did you start your quilt life? Well, I had a neighbor um, whose m mother was living with her, and she was just very good at anything related to fabrics and, and yarns. And so she kind of got me interested, but that was many years ago. And we have a big family. And so I really didn't pursue that except very sporadically over the years until I retired. Now I'm able to sew it to my heart's content. How did you come across the Cama Beach Quilters? You know, I was thinking about that um, and I, I don't remember exactly. I think it was Valerie actually that I met and introduced me to it. They took me to my first CIQ meeting and there were four of us, and all of us in the car were former teachers. And uh, so there was sort of an immediate bonding um, with these ladies. And then they told me about Cama Beach Quilters, which was more what I was looking for, was a smaller group of ladies to spend time with and learn from. You know, it's been just a marvelous experience for me. I feel like I'm, you know, making a difference, you know, a little in my own little way um, in our community. So it's been a blessing. I giggle when you say teachers because I always say that teachers and nurses are the best quilters. <laughs> right. You have the patience, right? Uh, I guess that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me share my screen and bring up your beautiful quilt. Okay, so this is your quilt so crazy. Yeah. Can you tell can you tell me how it came to be? Well, I had a lot of primary and secondary colors and a lot of scraps, some of which I think, Susan, came from you and your job. <laughs> it was uh, shortly after the pandemic hit and we were isolated and socially inactive. And I thought I needed something to bring up my spirits, you know, bring a little sunshine into my life. And so I uh, dug out all those scraps. My friend, Polly, who was my other inspiration for quilting, she took me to my very first guild meeting in Bellevue many, many years ago. She uh, passed away a few years ago, and her husband gifted me with a lot of her fabric and templates, all, all of her tools. I just have a, a lot of things from her. And among them was this pattern and the templates to sew this crazy quilt. And so it seemed like a perfect marriage, you know, to kind of honor her and thank her as well as to make something that was fun and, and bright. Beautiful. Yeah, it is very fun and bright. When you look at it, you don't really see the, how the blocks come together. The one block turned uh, different ways. And I have to say it was a bit challenging because some of the templates, you couldn't uh, fold wrong sides together you know, to, to cut, you had to have, you know, two right sides up. Um, so I ended up with a lot of backwards pieces. So as a result of that, I made a comfort quilt oh. with the same <laughs> pattern and, and 
a few more fabrics. So it was a, a great way to use up scraps. I was kind of on a roll. So it was fairly easy once I figured that out, that yeah. they had to be up, upside. <laughs> it, 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 looks, it looks complicated, but I love those kind of quilts that aren't complicated. And then your uh, back is almost as beautiful as your front's. Ah, yes, used up all those larger pieces of fabric and then a lot of the little wraps to do that. So yeah, thought it was kind of fun to have. I think the colors and the um, extra fabric on the back actually gave it a nice surprise. Quilt number 534, So Crazy by Mary Kay Moraski. So do you have any favorite teachers? I think my friends have been my best teachers for, for quilting. One of the tools that I, I discovered was a Fiskar rotary cutter. I'll, I have it right here. I'll bring it up. So it's great for cutting, you know, like backs, large pieces of fabric or multiple same size strips. And I, I've used it a lot and it's, it's saved a lot of time and it's uh, very, very accurate. I found it at the uh, Sew Expo in Puyallup a number of years ago, it really helped. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's really wonderful. So you could make two inch strips to- Yeah, or six yeah. inch strips and then cut them into six inch squares or whatever. I mean, it's, it's really it has reduced the amount of time for large scale cutting of fabric. So it's been good, it's been good. Yeah, well, cool. Well, thank you very much for doing this. I think it will be really helpful to get the word out about our wonderful group and our wonderful park here on Camino yeah. Island, too. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Mary Kay. Bye-bye. All right, that wraps up day eight. Please go to the Cama Beach Quilters Facebook page and click on the event for Saturday so that you will get a reminder for our beautiful quilt show and sale. Look forward to seeing you online. Thanks so much and see you tomorrow on day nine.